main focus for today is the bullet lipsticks that Fenty just came out with. But also on my Sephora order, I tacked on one of the new Tom Ford cream formulations. I will have that in the timestamps as well if you're interested or you can skip through that if you're not interested, but it is currently what is on my eyes. And I am digging the look. But we're gonna get started strong with the lipsticks here. Very interesting launch. We all talk about it. You can buy these on Sephora or the Fenty website at the current moment. They'll probably come to Ulta eventually now that Fenty is going to be carried at Ulta. But the range is pretty good as I'm looking. I like the colors that are available. There are 10 shades. I have to say I definitely ordered the MVP, which is the blue red shade. They gave me a different color instead. I don't know. I'm a little salty about that. But anyways, available in 10 shades. They are $20 for the lipstick itself. The catch with this is though, is you have to buy the case and the case is $12. So this is what the $20 lipstick is going to look like. And then this extra case is $12. You do not need to buy a case for every lipstick. That would be $32 in total. But if you want, you should at least get one and then you can interchange all of the shades that you picked up. This is not Fenty's first bullet lipstick formula. However, do you guys remember Remember these, these are like the slim bullet lipsticks. Really, really love these. Sad that they got rid of these. Is mine old? <laughs> I've had these for a while, but I love the formula of these. You do not have to buy a separate case. These are great. But again, I think they're definitely making it more luxe though, if you get it with the case. <laughs> so we'll see. The formula here is supposed to be a creamy semi-matte lipstick in a range of high pigment reds and neutrals for all skin tones that is made to be refillable. You choose a shade and then you add the case to the cart. Hydrating, long wearing, and a matte finish are the key points that they added. So like I said, <laughs> I ordered this dang case. I'm gonna show you how to put the lipsticks in. And then I ordered the three shades of the refills. Let's see where everything is made, all of that. So the lipsticks are gonna have a 12 month shelf life and they are made in the USA. And then the lipstick case out of curiosity, made in China. When you order the lipstick, it's gonna come in this tiny little box here. When you order the case, it's going to come in a bigger box here on the lipstick case and the lipstick there's going to be instructions which, which I just used the tutorial on Fenty's TikTok to learn how to do this because these instructions confused me and I did practice because I did this completely wrong I thought I could do this without reading any instructions so don't do that watch this first so I'm gonna first show you how to actually insert the lipstick and how it works let me pull it apart it seems pretty easy to pull apart to interchange the lipsticks, which is nice. It's gonna come out of the box straight like this, and all you're gonna do is tip it over, and this is gonna fall out. Don't push this in, just let it fall out. The lipsticks themselves are gonna come like this. Now don't do what I did and just stick it in. It got stuck, okay? <laughs> what you want to do to do this properly, take the cap off. Okay, so this is what you should have. And then you're gonna take that bottom piece that fell out. You're gonna literally press this in and it should look like the bottom of a lipstick without the top. And then I just wanna show you if you twist the opposite direction, kind of comes off. So yeah, press it straight in, take the main case and push it in like so. And then to get the lipstick out, you twist the bottom and then you pull it out. And it's not that hard. I was being very dramatic with that face I made, <laughs> but you just pop it in and then to get your lipstick, you pull it out. It's quite chunky packaging. This is very, very large. It's definitely not going to fly open or anything, which is nice as it might in some of your purses. But yeah, that's how it works. Here's my two cents on this. It's a little extra. Honestly, if I didn't have a review channel, I certainly would not have bought this for $12. You can use the lipstick just like this. It's, it definitely feels incomplete. It gets rid of that luxury experience really fast, but you don't need to have this if you're not interested. I'm honestly not really interested in packaging like this. I don't like the interchangeable. I just want it to come in a nice package first thing out. I'd rather pay a little bit more than that. I just preferred this, honestly, but whatever. Okay, let's get into the colors that I actually picked up. Oh, this is cool. 
What is nice though is you can still see the color. So the color is on the silver part right here, so you will still be able to see the color. So the first shade that I picked up was Pose Queen. Pose Queen is a neutral pink nude. It swatches super duper smooth. I haven't put these on my lips yet, but they feel really, really nice, like a good cream lipstick. Then I picked up Scholar Sista, which is a rose nude. Hold on. I'm like, I promise you it's swatching super smooth, but I, <laughs> there you go. Those are those two together. I could have sworn I picked up the MVP instead of this one, but anyways, this is Major Magnet, and it's a cool taupe nude. I'm not mad at this shade, though. It is really pretty. So these are the three shades that I got. Let's put them on. To define my lips just a little bit, we're putting Supernatural by Pat McGrath underneath. This is going to go good with all the colors for sure. And we'll start off with the lightest shade, Pose Queen. They are super duper smooth going on. Very comfy. Mm, I love that. This is a really nice feeling lipstick. It's not as soft as the Natasha Denona for reference, but it's up there. It feels really nice. And I see what they mean by like a soft matte. It looks a little matte, but there is a sheen. It's not a complete flat matte. And I much prefer this consistency for a lipstick anyways. It's just so much more comfortable. This shade, so pretty. Love that. Okay, let's try the next one. We're gonna do Scholar Sista, which is the rose. You can see quite pigmented too. This for me is like an ideal everyday rosy shade. It adds some color to the face, but it's not too bright. It's still pretty neutral. Ooh, I like this. I love this formula. You're lucky. This formula is so good because <laughs> I was not feeling the refillable aspect of it, but that shade is also really stunning. All right, last one, the deepest one. This is Major Magnate. <laughs> love these kind of shades very grungy perfect for my look today i actually i love all three of the shades that i picked up if i could do it over i would not pick up both pose queen and scholar sister because they're kind of very similar <laughs> i'd rather pick up probably just scholar sister and then add on the mvp for just a red lip but love, 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 love this formula. It doesn't feel like it's going to be the longest wearing lipstick in the world, and that is fine because I would trade comfort for that, and this does give comfort. So I am a big fan of these lipsticks. Very turned off, though, <laughs> by the refillable aspect. It's just not my speed. If it is your speed, though, I mean, go for it. That's great but it's, it's extra trouble that i just i don't want to deal with i wouldn't have a problem honestly just carrying this little guy around i don't care but for 20 dollars though i would expect something a little nicer but anyways beautiful formula nonetheless I like the colors so so far so good i'm going to wear this all day i'm just gonna update you here i wore this yesterday all day and then also i went out to dinner these aren't super long wearing lipsticks. I mean, they're really, really comfortable. They don't go away within 20 minutes. They have a decent wear time. But if you eat or as a day goes on, you will need to put on a fresh layer. It's not a liquid lipstick or anything like that. But I think it has really great wear time considering the type of formulation. It's just a really solid, comfortable lipstick. Love it. But definitely throw it in your purse. It's not going to last all day. But I like the colors that I got for sure. Am I going to go back and buy more? No, I don't need more lipsticks. But I'm very, very happy with this range. So if you're in store, you see a color you like, I think you'll like the formula a lot. Now I'm going to get into the Rose Topaz Quad that I picked up from Tom Ford if you want to see how I got this look. Curiosity killed the cat, as it always does. <laughs> and I thought I would sneak this in with the Fenty lipsticks. I did also, when I placed my order, pick up the Rose Topaz Quad from Tom Ford. It's a brand new formulation. I feel like he's redoing his line. There's a couple formulas that have come out recently and yeah, I just wanted to see. There were three that came out in this formulation. Honestly, at least online, all three literally looked the same and there was no way I was gonna pay $89 times three to get all three when they looked the same. So I picked out the one that I thought I would like the best, Rose Topaz, <laughs> and I just want to play with this formulation because it's like a cream formulation. They're supposed to feel super duper soft. Anyways, so 89 Zolas. It came in the velvet slip. 
And then we have the quad, made in Italy, same old, same old. Immediately when I saw this palette, let me show it to you. It's the same packaging, same applicators as normal. I saw this and I thought it was like the most cool toned one and it had the glimmery shade. So I thought this one would be the most exciting. When I saw it, it immediately reminded me of Disco Dust. So let me show you them side by side. They totally look similar, just staring at them. Here is the new rose topaz, and then right here is the disco dust. Don't those look very, very similar? Okay, let me swatch rose topaz first. So these do have a very soft, creamy feeling to them. They don't feel as wet as a cream, but they have a very velvety slip to them. It feels really nice, and you can see there was no powder kickback. Oh, what? what is on my hand? Okay, so let's see. Very, very soft. These are swatching. They look super soft. And I like how the glittery shade does not feel like it's going to get hard pan like the normal Tom Ford formulas, but this is the Rose Topaz. Really pretty, really soft. As you can tell by the look that I have on my eye, it's a soft palette. $89, I don't think a lot of you are going to be pleased by that. But let's swatch the old Disco Dust in case you have this. I don't really like Disco Dust, so I don't know why I decided to go with Rose Topaz. But anyways, let me try and do side by sides. So this is the old Disco Dust, and then this is Rose Toast Topaz. It's less vibrant. This is definitely more neutral, but they definitely remind me of each other, but they aren't exactly the same. Okay, anyways, let's put it on our eyes so you can see how these colors work. So I'm gonna start off with this peachy shade right here. I wish very, very much that this was a little deeper, but I just wanna show you there's no kickback really. We're going to place it right in the crease. It's just like one shade darker, not even one shade. It's like a quarter shade darker than my skin tone and a little bit more peachy, so it does show up. But I don't love this shade, honestly. With a quad, that's $89. Each shade needs to hold its own. I really feel like this shade does not hold its own. Ugh, here I am bashing Tom Ford. I love the way that these feel, but I'm regretting my choice of this. It, it all looked boring online. I didn't know what to pick was a problem. <laughs> so I don't know if the other colors are gonna be prettier or if I just don't like the color stories, but let's go into this shade next. Oh, see, I'm sorry. I'm forgetting to show you. See, no really kickback at all, which I like. This is a relatively mess-free palette. This black though, kind of incredible. I want to show you how easily it blends itself. Look at that. Honestly, just completely seamless. If you struggle with blacks and blending, this palette, super easy to blend. And then I'm going to blend it out just a little bit and in towards the crease. You see that? Zero effort at all. So for those of you who ask me all the time, why do you keep buying Tom Ford? You don't like the palettes. Because they are so easy to use. Because when you get a good one, it's really great and they're so easy to use. It takes some weeding through to find one that I love. But keep in mind, I do this as a full-time job. I weed through them for you. I am so lucky to be in that situation, but that's why I keep buying them. It's kind of my job. Anyways, that blended out just lovely. I love this shade. Okay. Next up, I'm using the Glimmer Topper here. I really like this formula as well. It does not feel like it's going to get hard pan, and it's just very easy to apply all over the lid for a sophisticated yet glimmery eye like this. This is like the easiest smoky eye ever. It's pretty light, but I like it. And lastly, we just have a shimmer here. How pretty is that? It still turned out like soft and elegant how Tom Ford turns out. So Tom Ford in general is not for everybody. They have a more soft formulation that's like this. It's a little bit more elegant. It's just a different style of makeup. Don't come in expecting major, major pigment. I don't know how I feel about this. I really like a couple of the shades. I just don't like the colors that were placed in here, you know? I really love the formula. I love the glimmer shade. I love the dark shade, but the other two shades are kind of a waste to me. You're just paying so much. So I'm looking forward to seeing what other colors come out with this formula because I like this formula, but I don't love the particular quad that I got. And I would like to see in stores the other two palettes to see if they're prettier <laughs> or something. This look is absolutely gorgeous, but I, it's just $89. Anyways, let me finish the look. <laughs> you guys, so here is the thing. 
I was talking smack about this palette a little bit. I was going to tell you I don't like it. It's not worth it. But this always happens with Tom Ford for me. After I do the look, after I add the liner, the lashes, and the whole shebang, suddenly I love the palette. <laughs> it looks so elegant and pretty. What a fun smoky eye that I did. I took the darkest shade and blended out a little bit of the eyeliner from my waterline to give it a little bit more of a smoky effect. But now I really like this palette. Being smart though, is it worth $89? Not this color story. I do enjoy the formula, but it is a bit pricey, but I'm not mad at this palette anymore. I like it. I prefer Metal Lust a lot better and the Extreme Badass collection for that formula, but this I really, really like. It, it still gives that really soft and sophisticated look that luxury palettes give in this new formulation. I'm happy with it, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I am curious to see the other colors that he launched. Not curious enough to spend my money on them. The formula is not worth buying blindly, but if I see him in store, I might, you know, stop and swatch a little bit, but I love the look, I'm not gonna lie, so <laughs> yeah. Final thoughts on everything. The palette is nice. It's up to you if you decide you need it or not. It's not groundbreaking, but if you like the typical Tom Ford, Charlotte Tilbury kind of eye, I think you'll like this. And the lipstick formula, really soft, really beautiful. Not a fan of this, obviously, but the formula is good that I would buy this. But what I... I don't know. Again, you are gonna have to decide if it's worth it or not, but I'm giving a thumbs up to the formulation at least. It feels really, really comfortable on the lips. And there we have it. That is my review of those two new products. I hope you guys enjoyed this and you found it helpful. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask down below. And if you tried either of these products, please let me know your thoughts down below as well. I want to hear what do you think of the cream formulation? These are called the Eye Color Quad Creams, by the way. I don't think I specified that. Did you try any of these? Am I crazy? Let me you know and then also the lipstick stuff as well what's your favorite color all right guys thank you so much for being subscribed to my channel and liking this video and i will see you guys in the next one have a good one